So within rehearsal, for safety's sake, which is always of supreme importance, we moved the parries as we were doing them downstage. So in the slash, we were clear of these people here. And in this slash, we both had, had to pick a, uh, a, a place to look to make sure that we kept it consistent and that we didn't hurt each other. Or hit, or hit swords. swords on the way through. So my, what I'm looking for is right here on, on like thigh, mid thigh. And I cross just above Michael's belly button. So in the, this, the split second, we, we make that connection. And so then we, we kept on doing a rehearsal too, which was very bad. Uh, when we did the slash, we used to... We're just doing a little bit of the matrix, <laughs> which is wrong, <laughs> because we're sticking our head out and putting it in line with a sword that's crossing by. These are my favorite. They're really nice fighting swords. They're really agile. It's got a lot of flash to it when they're fighting. As you can see here, this blade goes down to a little square bit that goes all the way through there, so there's a weak point. These people are on stage with these, that's why all the time I'm checking on every blade, I make sure every blade's good. This sword, when it goes back on stage, will have a new blade on it. Because of that fatigue, you know, you don't want that breaking. You know, because it's, it'll fly. <laughs> This one here was a, actually, when you stabbed it, there's a little trigger here. This is old. Squirt blood out. So when you pulled it out, it was all covered in blood and dripping. I'm getting to a point, I can, uh, when we do it, I'll show it, but where I can't go any farther, but it doesn't feel like it's fully in. Um, I know it's in far enough, enough when I can feel all my ribs. <laughs> you can feel yeah. it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Davis, one-handed fight. Like, and these guys were in steel armor, like we just showed you in the shot. So all of these things are that, that's the bent. Front. Yeah, and that's got a solid piece of steel going right down it. And that's so anybody that tells me that you know, first actors are wimps, and secondly, those fights looked hokey. They're for real. She sells seashells by the seashore. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers.
there. I just laid an egg. Gloria, Gloria, la la muste. Gloria, Gloria, la la muste. Fifty years ago, I think very few, um, if any of us, in fact, knew any of these tricks uh, that we do to um, to loosen. Uh, loosen the muscles, loosen the voice. Uh, in those days, it was simply a question of getting on stage, being as articulate as possible, and probably shouting. There was a lot of declamation in those days. But I know that today, more actors use some kind of preparation to get themselves ready for a performance. Good. So the, all the slight articulation, just imagine you're just lying. Okay, but just so that it doesn't ever get um, tight or held. Beautiful. All right. We're fine now. You guys gonna think I'm nuts at any <laughs> Whatever routine you do the first day, I have to keep doing it or else. Come away, come away, death, and in sad cypress let me be laid. Fly away, fly away, breath. I am slain by a fair cruel maid. My shroud of white. Stuck all with you, oh, prepare with me. My part of death, no one so true did share. Not a flower, not a flower sweet. On my black coffin, let there be stored. Not a friend, not a friend greet. My poor corpse, where my bones shall be thrown. A thousand, thousand sighs to say. Clayton Shields, who's the head of wigs and makeup, said, I found a picture of Malvolio at a garage sale this weekend. And he gave this to me. <laughs> and so the toupee is somewhat similar. the second time around, I think, because you have higher expectations. Because uh -huh. if you have achieved any sort of success at all the first time around, then you have to not only try and find that success again, but do something different, do something to add to it. Stand by, please. Stand by. <coughs> Sound cue 48.1 and electrics 36. Help. Oh. <laughs> Sound cue 48.2. What's for here, Orsino's embassy? Go. <laughs> Thank you. Most people are on three shows. So we're doing eight. What is it, Paul? We're doing about eight shows a week. Eight, Pretty much seven to eight. Seven to eight shows a week. 
Um, I guess sometimes there'll be a nine show week. Um, so it's it's pretty grueling. <laughs> Prithee, foolish Greek, depart from me. There's money for thee. If you tarry longer, I shall give worse payment. By my troth, thou hast an open hand. These wise men that give fools money get themselves a good report after 14 years' purchase. There we go. That's our big moment. <laughs> Remember who delivered thy yellow stockings? Thy yellow stockings? Oh! And wish to see thee ever oh. cross guarded. Cross guarded? Go to! Go to! Go and if thou desirest to be so! Am I made? If not, let me see thee a servant still! to get the blanket off the necklace or it would have followed me around for the you know, see? Yes. And then when I pulled, when I was sitting there, when I said, Dunik, when I pulled, the thing snapped. And so it's, I thought it would stay attached to the blanket, but it went on the floor. But I think Mary just picked it up. Change it to and block three. Great concessions, yeah. please. Yes. Change it to and block three. Electrics 18 and sound cue 32. Go. If something goes well or doesn't go well, and I try to write a note to figure out why it did or didn't work, especially with the comedy stuff, like um, you, you'll get a laugh and then all of a sudden it will disappear, and then you try to, to try to figure out why why it went away, and uh, and when you figure it out, so then you I jot it down and try to remind myself not to, to lose it again. <laughs> when we were doing uh, Miser a few years ago, we used to get really mad at ourselves because we didn't we didn't feel like we were doing very good, and. And Richard Manette, who, the artistic director, would say, uh, guys, don't worry, like, don't beat yourself up because you're not Bill Hutt, because he has 40 years on you. Or... Begin, fool. It begins, hold thy peace. I shall never begin if I hold my peace. What <laughs> <laughs> if they can begin? Hold thy peace, and I pray they hold thy peace. Hold thy peace, and I pray they hold thy peace. favorite name for this wig? Yes, we should. The alien myself. head. It's the alien head. We get many stations on this wig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If thou canst love such a one, take me, then take me, take a soldier, take a soldier, take a king. What sayest thou then to my love? Speak my fair and fairly, I pray thee. Is it possible that I should love the enemy of France? No, Kate, it is not possible you should love the enemy of France. In loving me, you should love the friend of France. For I love France so well, I will not part with a village of it. I will have it all mine. I'm going to ask you to marry him. You think? Yep. <clears throat> Dost thou understand thus much English, Kate? Canst thou love me? I cannot tell. 
Well, can any of your neighbors tell Kate? We'll ask them. <laughs> should I, do you think I should say yes? Okay. Actors say that the shoes are probably the most important part of the costume. Because if they feel good on their feet, then they'll give a good performance. Some of the other things we do is we'll take a pair of shoes and make them look old and dusty. We'll sand them down or put paint on them. We put a latex glue and straw along the edges to make it look like someone stepped in horse manure, things like that. Um, also this year we ha had a squeaky shoe where we'd actually build a squeaker right into the heel and every time the actor walked his, his shoes would squeak. I remember my father when he had suspenders on. Yeah, he yeah. also had belt. It's fine. Yeah, it's I just wonder if sometimes I, they, they seem to be pathologically afraid their pants are going to fall in the early 20s. It seems. Not a, <laughs> not a modern day problem. <laughs> no, no, they <laughs> encourage it now. But I just wonder if uh, we can look at that. Take it just a, a very thin belt, just a brown belt. And just see. Yeah, I'll go see if I have anything. When I started here, uh, well, I don't know, 15 years ago, uh, I would say the average men's size was a 38. He height was maybe 5'10. Our average men's size now is a 42, and the average height is 6 feet. So we have racks of these things. We have about 30 thousand items in the warehouse. Like in this section you'll find things that are 25 years old, but will they fit anyone unless you have like a, a young child or a very small man? And we don't have too many of those. You clean up nice. <laughs> Lights down to Rachel. Lights up on the banner. Lights on the hurdy gurdy. This is an intermission change. So this stuff will be set. You just walk on, take your position. There'll be a lighting change, after, and then I'll change it on after your freeze. So are we all spill out of the door at the same time? Yeah. Okay. The next time we do this, Bill, the next time we're on stage, we'll rehearse this exact thing. That'll it's in blue light, Bill. What? It's in sea change light, blue light. I, I don't look well in blue, darling. No. <laughs> we'll put on None of us do. <laughs> okay, let's go. Now, listen, 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 listen to this. Uh, Genesis 4.16. Oh, that's right. Then I'm right. Uh, listen to this. <coughs> Genesis. Uh, 14, 6 is it? What is it? 4.16. 4, 6. Oh. <laughs> Genesis 4, uh, 16, oh, 4, 16. And uh, Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife. Where the hell did she come from? <gasps> oh. Who? Mrs. Kane. K 
Cain's wife. If in the beginning there was Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel, where did this extra woman come from? Hmm? Ever do you guess? Ever figured that out? Ever figured that out? No, sir. I will leave the uh, I will leave the agnostics to hunt for. <laughs> yet never bothered you? Never bothered you? Never bothered me. I believe, I believe in the truth of the book of Genesis. Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Judges, uh, Judge, uh, Joshua, Joel, uh, what? Hosea. Hosea, uh, what? Hosea, Joel. Hosea, uh, Joel, Amos, Obadiah. Court is adjourned until Micah, 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Nathan, uh, what? Habakkuk, Habakkuk Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Mother, they're laughing at me, Mother. Julie, just in that section, just keep going. Don't back me up, because you can't back up. Just keep, you know, yeah. Don't get frustrated, because it always comes at a very bad time in rehearsal when you've got one foot out of the script and one foot firmly in planted mouth. in the script. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? In his mouth. <laughs> and one foot in your mouth. <laughs> but you're the only company member with three feet. <laughs> These were made for Romeo and Juliet uh, a few years ago. The whole thing is piano wire, except the face, of course. All this is piano wire. For more than one reason, one, bop, bop, bop. Uh, they tended to come off stage and just take this off the head, throw it, and get back on. So we made it out of an indestructible material. It's light, and gives us the airy, fairy, see-through thing. 